Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. I'm the Furry Family Coach. If you are new here, we do all kinds of videos on dog training, dog behavior, canine enrichment, sometimes cat stuff too. Yeah, cat nutrition, dog nutrition, all the wonderful things for your pets. If you are new here, if you're just stumbling upon my channel, I do hope you like this video. I hope you do give it a thumbs up and that you hit the subscribe button. It really helps out my channel and it helps YouTube to know what kind of videos you like best. So let's get right into this video. We're going to be talking about titer testing. And if you have never heard of titer testing, you're not alone. I actually only heard about it maybe in the last four or five years. And so we're going to talk all about that. We're going to talk about vaccines for your pets and yeah. So let's dive right in. All right, guys, so the day that I'm recording this is not the day you're seeing it, but the day I'm recording this, I actually did a live on YouTube about like the due dates of vaccines. And I wanted to kind of further, you know, follow up and make sure that this video, this topic was getting out to as many people as possible because I think it is so incredibly important. I know I personally have had pets have vaccine reactions and it is devastating to think that like something you did something you could have prevented is causing your pet suffering so i think it is so important that we talk about this there are actually quite a few veterinarians out there now who are speaking up about vaccines and the damages that a lot of vaccines are doing and i want to just kind of okay first and foremost i am not a veterinarian if you have followed me at all you know i'm not a veterinarian but i'm just going to reiterate that in this video to make sure that we are all in the same place we know what's going on right like you know me I may not know you, but that's okay. You can post in the comments so that I can get to know you. I would love that. And um, also that I love our veterinarians. I, I am in no way saying that like what veterinarians are doing is bad or wrong. I honest to God believe that veterinarians, traditional veterinarians, holistic veterinarians, integrated veterinarians, homeopathic veterinarians, whoever your veterinarian is, is legitimately doing what they believe is the best thing for your pet. However, what traditional veterinary medicine is teaching in our vet schools, I don't believe, I personally don't believe, and there are other veterinarians out there who are, you know, the, the list is ever growing of veterinarians speaking up that maybe what we're doing is not the best thing for our pets. I am in no way anti-vaccination. I am not an anti-vaxxer, let me get that straight. What I am is anti-over-vaccination. So I think we can more responsibly vaccinate our pets and ourselves, by the way, but that's neither here nor, nor there. I'm not talking, about, not talking about humans in this video. I'm talking about our dogs and our cats. So rabies is a freaking horrible thing. I've actually listened to some podcasts um, about rabies, not as it relates to our pets necessarily, but just as it relates to the world and like not necessarily how rabies came about, but how horrible it can be if a human contracts rabies, right? And it's terrible, it's absolutely horrible. So I understand where all of this fear came from and why we have pushed so hard over the last decades to make sure that dogs are being vaccinated because it is absolutely horrific what humans go through when, they, and probably for, I don't know, maybe with the other animals too. I honestly don't know exactly what they go through when they actually contract rabies. I know it is absolutely horrible when humans contract rabies. So I get it, I totally get it. But I think at this point where we are now that rabies is so low, like instances of rabies, especially you know human contraction of rabies is so low that I think we're at a point where we can step back and say, okay, how can we continue this, but also take into consideration, and, and I'm not just talking about a rabies vaccine here, I'm talking about all vaccines, but specifically when we talk about rabies, how can we, we're good, okay, we know we're good. The rabies vaccine works. How can we continue this to where, you know, humans are are no longer in harm's way as, as we see now in today's society, but we're being more responsible with the vaccines that we're putting in our pet's body as well. And I think we are there, like we are here, this right now today, when you're watching this video, we're, we're ready to start like a new phase, right? I think, I think we're here. I think we've been here, but people need to be more educated. So there are a ton of really wonderful veterinarians who are speaking out about the risks of over vaccination are, are, are can be devastating to our pets. 
we can still be responsible and vaccinate without over vaccinating. So here's where we get into titer testing and what is a titer test. So there are a lot of wonderful veterinarians out there who are doing some really great work in educating the public as best they can to start advocating for their pets better and learning what vaccines do and don't do and because different vaccines do different things and how to be more responsible in vaccinating our pets. I have lists in the description of all of these as well as additional information on my Patreon. So if you are not a patron, I do hope you check it out. It's the first link in the description. Make sure to go over and follow me on Patreon. I have four different tiers set up. Choose the one that's best for you and we can talk more about this. I actually have you know additional information more than what is in this video over on my Patreon. These veterinarians are doing amazing things. Dr. Lori Kozier has a PDF download, which you can get if you join me over on Patreon, that gives you top 10 best practices for vaccines, as well as puppy vaccine protocol, and which then leads into adult um, vaccine protocol. So this is really incredibly important stuff and really gives you a good base of knowledge to to then go and talk to your veterinarian about, right? So I will link all of this down below. Dr. Will Falconer is a homeopathic veterinarian who's doing some really great work. Um, Dr. John Robb is also doing really, really, really great work in the field of titer testing and um, educating the public. Um, Dr. Odette Suter has an amazing book. Um, it's called What Your Vet Never Told You. I, I read it all in one sitting. It was that captivating, captivating to me. I will link it, it's on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below as well. And there are just lists of other veterinarians doing tons of great work in this field as well. So what is titer testing? After you get your initial vaccination, your pet gets their initial vaccination, which is important. Like I said, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm just pro appropriate, you know, being a, a responsible vaccinator, right? So I'm, I'm anti over vaccination. Once you get your initial vaccine, once your pet gets their initial vaccines, well, who's to say they need that second? Some some dogs may, some cats may, some dogs might, and some cats might not, right? So how do we judge that? Well, guess what? There is a measurement of that, and it's uh, the measurement of antibodies in their system, in their blood. And all you have to do is take that blood draw, have your vet send it off to a lab, or you can choose a lab, you know, a lab of your choosing, which again, join me over on Patreon and you can get so much more information on choosing a lab um, to do this testing with. I personally got Kimberly's um, titer testing done this year. Instead of vaccinating, I went ahead, I say instead of, if I had gotten the titer test results back and she did not have sufficient immunity, then we would have vaccinated her. However, we sent her blood work off to get titer tested. So they tested the amount of antibodies in her system for um, parvo virus, distemper, and rabies. And she came back with uh, levels of immunity for all three, adequate levels of immunity for all three, meaning she did not need additional vaccinations because she was already, she already has, her body already has immunity. So it's really that simple. These blood tests test the level of antibodies in your pet system to let you know if your pet has adequate levels of immunity or not. As long as they meet a minimum uh, immunity level requirement, they're adequately immune. Why then over vaccinate when we know that vaccines have a lot of adverse reactions? Um, there are plenty of horror stories on the internet. I've had pets with uh, who have had vaccine reactions. You may ha have had a pet with a vaccine, whether you know it or not. If you got your puppy vaccinated and within a couple of weeks, maybe a month, they started getting really itchy and have, having allergies, maybe even food sensitivities, that very well could be because of that vaccine that they got. So there are, I mean, there is a huge range of vaccine reactions that can be proven. And um, yeah, so when we know there are tons of adverse reactions to vaccines, why then would we just blindly over vaccinate? And again, the more education that is happening, the more people are questioning and looking for this information and talking to their veterinarians about it. I know I asked my veterinarian, I said, why why wouldn't you tell more people about titer testing? And she said, people don't wanna pay for it. Well, first of all, you're making that assumption without asking people or giving people the information. And 
you know, I just personally, I am not at all saying that veterinarians are not. I think veterinarians are amazing. They do amazing work. And my goodness, the amount of stress that a veterinarian goes through just on a day-to-day -day basis, it, it, it's the profession with like the highest number of suicides in the U.S. at least. And that is sad to me, but also I get it. Like the, what they go through, my heart goes out to you, but I think we can do better. And I don't think it's going to take that much to do better. If we put in tighter testing protocols in place instead of mandatory vaccine, like why? There is no, okay. Let me tell you, I could go on about this forever. What I would like you to do is check out the live video I did. Um, I will link it in the description and make sure to join me over on Patreon because I give you a ton of resources and information over there. Uh, including a link to go get that PDF from Dr. Lori Kozier and she she runs Healthy Dog Workshop. Um, there is just so much wonderful information out there and you are your dog's advocate. You are their best advocate. In many cases, you are their only advocate. And I say dog, but I mean your cat too. So let's make better informed decisions. I hope this video helped you, even if it just gave you a ledge to, you know, a platform to say, Ah, I get it. I understand it. Now let me go out there and do some more research. That is what I'm here for. That is my goal is to just put that little bug in your ear and say, guess what? Let's, let's, let's think about this a little bit more. Here's some information that I think you need to go and run with. That's what I'm here for guys. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. If you, if you, if you, your pet had a, an adverse reaction to a vaccination, I mean, comment about that below as well. I would love to talk to you about it. Not, I mean, you know, it, it's a shame. I am so sorry. I know it has happened to my pets before I knew better. I wish I could go back and undo it. That's why I want to get the information out to as many people, especially if you have a puppy or if you are getting ready to get a puppy or a kitten. Now is the time to start thinking about these things before we start blindly vaccinating them. Like just because you know, you get a postcard in the mail saying your pet is due for something doesn't mean they are. There is something called a, um, duration of immunity that it can vary from animal to animal and you know not every dog has the same check out my other information i definitely want you to learn more about this and join me on patreon so we can talk about it some more it is such an important topic and that's you know i just want you to learn more about it and be more um prepared when you go into your veterinarian's office next time. Thank you so much for being here. I do hope this video was useful and helpful for you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you look down there at that subscribe button, it's red. If it's red, you need to click it and turn it gray. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I can't wait to see you over on Patreon and in my next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.